In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the ISC zipper probe tubing on the 501 side of the Cobus 6000. For this maintenance, all you're going to need is the tubing itself. Um, here you can see I've got it right here, zipper tube. And you're only going to need one of those. It comes in packs of five. Um, so before you start the maintenance, go ahead and put the system in standby. Open up the 501 side and remove the ISC cover. And we're going to be changing this tubing here on the zipper probe. Um, just be very careful when you're removing the uh, tubing, especially from the actual probe itself. Um, you don't want to bend anything. Um, and then go ahead and uh, finagle it back on, um, which can be a little bit awkward. Um, but like I said, just be careful when you're attaching things back onto the zipper probe. You don't want to bend anything. Also, make sure the cap of the actual zipper probe itself is properly seated or when you try and restart you might get the um, zipper probe up down air which I actually have a video on how to resolve. Once you get all the tubing in you're all set. Um, just make sure everything's seated correctly which I did just there. Uh, and then reattach the ISC cover and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a reagent prime. Um, also I'm just going to do one reagent prime in this video uh, but I am also later going to run the green rack and I'm going to do the daily pipe, which will prime some more. And um, so just go ahead and do however many primes you would like to do. One should be fine if you're going to do the other things. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.